What's up, fam? Okay, so we're back. And you guys asked me to do a video on headshots and how I take them and, you know, tips on that. So that's what this video is about. I already have a how I do my makeup tutorial and it's the same way that I always do it. So I'm going to link it in the description box below and somewhere here on the screen. So you can just click on that and watch how I do my makeup there. I'll still insert clips here, but this is mostly about how to do your own headshots. Now my number, like I have a couple, I have a couple of tips for you guys. So my number one tip would be make sure that, <laughs> make sure that you do your pictures on the day of a headshot, whether you're doing them yourself or you're doing, you know, somebody's taking the pictures for you. And in this video, I'll show you how to take the pictures for yourself. But if you're having your pictures done, make sure you're doing your own makeup. Because if you have somebody do your makeup, you're not going to be able to recreate that look. And the point of the headshot is to recreate that look, that exact look that you submitted with. Your headshot is your calling card in the actor world. So you want to be able to recreate that same specific look that you had because someone on the other side was interested in what you had to offer through that picture or through your portfolio of versatile looks, which I definitely is my number two tip, have as many looks as possible. And that's the really cool thing about doing the pictures yourself. I take most of my own headshots all by myself. Um, it's really not that hard and that's why I'm going to show you guys today. I use a lot of natural light. I just like to do as many different looks as possible, especially if you love changing your hair or if you shave or if you shave a lot or you know you add extensions, you don't have extensions or you're maybe you're a wig person and you just like to really change your look. I think it's an amazing, amazing thing to have your own camera and to invest in your own equipment because the payback is um, priceless. You can do so many things with your camera. You can now make that into self tapes and you can make YouTube videos and you can take pictures of yourself. You can take pictures of other people. So there's a lot you can do when you invest in a camera for yourself and you learn how to use it. Right now I'm shooting on a Canon 70D on a Canon lens EF 40 millimeter. I really, really like it. It's super like natural and I have it on autofocus so it'll just do its thing, you know, wherever. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely show you guys a couple of different things that you can do in this in, to do your headshot. But my, my tip would be to re, be able to recreate that look that you're putting on the headshot, be versatile, be, be versatile. So just make sure that you have a lot of different looks in your portfolio. You could do it with glasses, without glasses, collared shirt, t-shirt, um, giving more of like what do teenagers look like, what does somebody in an office um, look like, what does an IT tech person look like, what does a mother look like, what does a father look like, a best friend, and you can select from different neighborhoods and you look on different shows and kind of go for those same specific looks, especially if you want to be a doctor or something. So for a doctor, I could wear my hair back like this. This would be a good headshot because I have my hair back and it's like, you know, I'm serious. And then I would just have some type of hopefully like a lab coat or a white collar shirt or a scrub even. And the places where you can get some of this stuff is obviously Amazon has a, a lot of these things, but a lot of places, I don't know why people don't go, go to the Goodwill, go to your local thrift shop, go to your local consignment store because there's so many clothes in there. If you want to have a commercial headshot that's smiling and friendly and inviting because you want to book fast food commercials or other commercials that have to do with food. and you know, you just get a red shirt that looks like a McDonald's shirt, get a green shirt that looks like a Subway shirt, and then get that from your local thrift store. It's only a couple of bucks, you know, go on the sale days, honey. You know, the sale days were real good. So those are definitely some things you can do, and you can rummage other people's closets, but it would be good to do that because then you can use those same exact pieces of clothing from your headshot that you shot of yourself on your own time in that specific look, and then when you called in, for that headshot you submitted, you can recreate that specific look. And more likely than not, um, obviously with the stars and the alignments and you know you having that look down, people are gonna remember that. Casting directors are gonna say, wow, that person looks like their photo. That person's energy is like their photo. That person is dressed like their photo. They get it. They know that you, they are here to 
fulfill this type of idea, right? Or this creative space, or they want to sell this product. So that those are my tips. Like you just you could start there, and you will really have a really, really, really nice way of seeing yourself in a different light and then showing people that you are versatile so you can be put into anything because a man with no beard and a man with a five o'clock shadow those are two different types of dads but both of those dads can be in a home depot commercial so you could submit literally both pictures if you had both looks Right, so that's the great thing about having that diverse portfolio. Uh, if it's a movie with a best friend and then the uh, the mom and then the best friend's mom, you want to be able to have the best friend look, maybe the best friend single girl look, and then the mom look. You know, which I feel like this is like. If I put, let me see, let's see, is this a mom look? It could be. It could be. It's like a very casual mom look. So this could be a very like a young mom because I actually like this kind of green shirt it gives you more of a down-to-earth feel you know and that's why you have to really play with colors and see what looks good against your skin you know um, look on the spectrum there's color spectrums out there there's color wheels out there really knowing your makeup and that it matches your neck and it matches just everything and it, it makes you look good it makes you look youthful I always err on the side of looking youthful but looking real you know so your headshot, you won't have to retouch it much because your makeup, you already got that down pat. You know what I'm saying? You did everything that you needed to do. Let me show you some clothes. So, all right, so I got some examples for headshots. So I would totally wear this. It's like a lavender kind of color, and maybe I'll wear this one for this. Um, I just did a blue one before, though, so I might not do this one. But this is like a lavender color. It gives you kind of a a youthful pop you know this is going to give you kind of a, a light vibe this is going to you know you know this is different from this green shirt i have on this green shirt gives you more of a down-to-earth vibe so it gives you more down-to-earth shows shows that are more rooted in realism you know versus this is more it could be more of a commercial look or a or a comedic a comedic type of vibe you know also depending on what kind of face you have with it but just off the color tones alone, you can see the difference in what one might wear, what a character might wear in the type of show. Now, yellow and gold, those are always beautiful colors depending on your skin tone and your undertones, but I always recommend this because the, also the headshot is about this small, right? So it's a snapshot, it's an avatar at this point. And the casting director is scrolling through hundreds and thousands of them, all of them, and they're about that small. So colors are a great way to subconsciously pop into somebody's existence and grab them you know what i'm saying and you'll see by the types of people that you go out for what kind of colors they gravitate towards if they call you and to submit you you can kind of start seeing a pattern you know so definitely gold is really really beautiful i love it i feel like it's a down-to-earth neutral color i feel this could go for commercial could go for theatrical as well absolutely this kind of it's a low cut burgundy red so you know cute little push-up bra you put a little body oil like you that's a little sexy situation you know what I'm saying but shot correctly shot in the right light with the right background this could look really really good I might do this one because I haven't done any quote-unquote like more uh, like sexy looks so those are just some examples that I have um, obviously, I'm going to put some headshots in here so you guys can see some past examples. And it's just about getting your eye to refine for the colors because the colors are just really, really important. You have to know what works well with your skin. That's why curating yourself and, you know, really understanding your skin and your, and your tones and your textures, it's a really fun experiment to do with yourself. What looks good on your body, you know, what colors make you pop. Kind of thing so it's a nice little experiment it's a great getting to know you experiment um yeah and so I, I i found my outfit i'm about to do my makeup i hope those were enough tips oh oh uh, if if you are a black girl and you have protective styles and you have different hair my manager just goes on to say she has this like so, so essentially my manager will submit my headshot 
whichever one she thinks is more giving the energy of the character that they're looking for. And then she'll say, this is her headshot, but she has many, many more looks. And with, in, with enough time up front, she's able to create any of these looks. So it's about just communicating with your team um, about that. Now, if you wear wigs, obviously, you have an easier life, you know what I'm saying? I've seen some girls with wigs in their suitcases at auditions, no lie, no lie. Like, we do whatever to get it done. And so, yeah, it's like, not whatever, just, you know, like, we hustle, we will we'll do what we can, like, you know, to get it done. But yeah, so when it comes to that being natural, my manager just communicates and lets them know that I'm able to do this, especially that, and then they're able to see that I can transform myself. and. Being able to give people all of these different characters, it could be overwhelming to some, but to the creatives out there who enjoy that, and it's really then again um, reintroducing the fact that actors are, we're malleable, you know, we, we melt into things, we transform all the time, and I feel like sometimes, a lot of times, uh, people in the industry, they forget that. They forget that we're able to change with the hair and the makeup and the clothing. That's why we have those artists that do these amazing jobs and are able to transform us. And so, yeah, I just, I, I like to be versatile. I like to keep people on their feet. And so we're going to do this light B right now. And then we're going to shoot this picture, this headshot. Like, okay, so as I was saying about the makeup thing, right? Um... Let's see, I hate this bottle fix that. You have to be able to do your own makeup really well, in my opinion, because especially if you start going on a lot of auditions, you're gonna be the one that has to do it. So just to, to give yourself less of a headache, I do most of my makeup. I've done all of my makeup for my red carpets so far. I've done all my makeup for my auditions, and sometimes I do makeup uh, for some of the shorts and stuff that I've been on. So. It's just really helpful to know how to do it yourself, so you'll never have to rely on somebody else. Being able to master your own face is like nothing else, you know, because you know what looks good. You know how to present yourself. And even if you don't know how to present yourself best, it's a learning process, right? Like, everybody has to learn that. You have to learn how to present yourself in the best and most authentic way for you. Like, that's what's most important because if you feel comfortable in your makeup and you feel comfortable in your clothing, you're going to feel comfortable in the audition room. And that's the point. You have to feel comfortable so you can let go and really murder that fucking audition and book that job. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you got to do. House, making stuff, creating stuff. That's why if you go on my YouTube channel, I have like 80-something videos up there because I've always been just chilling, making shit, learning. Like, I'm literally just sitting down and learning, 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 because I'm reading people's natal charts. So I'm learning and, you know, getting back on my um, tarot shit, too, and just being connected to spirit and spending time alone, because I'm a very social person. I'm a very social person, but I've also learned to uh, let the universe guide my moves, you know what I'm saying? I've also just understood that. Like, I let God move me. I let the universe move me. I don't try to control it too much. I look very crazy right now, but it looks good from back here, so don't don't worry about me. I got this covered, all right? You worry about you. She's like natural, matches my neck, yeah. Natural makeup, that's what I suggest. And then if it's like, if it's more of a, um, I suggest this mostly for everything, commercials, you know, uh, auditions, unless it's really, okay, this person's been on an island, then I wouldn't wear any makeup. And, or if this person's going out to a nightclub, then maybe a little bit of a smoky eye, maybe a little bit of a darker or deeper lip. But nothing too distracting, nothing over the top. Just give them a little touch of that energy and definitely in the, your outfit, you wanna do that. Okay. Supernatural, it's very natural to me and I just feel like this is my look. 
Okay, so I'm gonna shoot my picture here and you kind of can already see what it's gonna look like a little bit, but I'm gonna shoot it with an 85 millimeter lens. And this is one of my favorite portrait lenses because it gives you the beautiful bouquet in the back and that's when it gets like all nice and blurry, you know, and it makes you stand out. So you can have the textures and the, the shapes of the stuff behind you be a little bit blurred and then you would pop out because you're really crispy. So that's what I love about this 85 lens. You can obviously shoot it on this 42. This 40 would look great. You guys see me here super up close. You would just change um, the lens this way, you know, uh, vertical. So then you would take your headshot that way. You can also take your headshot this way, but because I'm in this specific room, I'm gonna take it that way so that you guys can see it. And so this is the 85 millimeter lens. I also have a 20 millimeter, a 50, and a 35. If you can't get an 85, I got this one used from Amazon. My camera is used. I was somebody's assistant for a while and then I traded it, my hours for work for this camera. So, I've, and I've had this camera for years and I love it. I take a lot of pictures on it. So getting used equipment is amazing. Repurposing equipment is amazing. It's great for the planet, you know, all that kind of stuff. So this lens is repurposed. I think it was like a hundred. No, no, I lied. That was the 50. I think the 50 is like $103, $110. This 85 is like $300, but this is worth it. I'm telling you, when you get really, really good, you can make this money back in a couple headshot sessions. Or you can make it back in a wedding. Um, if you want to start doing wedding photography, that's a great way to make money on the side because people are getting married every day, honey. So it's really, really good for that. And I really feel like, especially as an actor, knowing cameras, knowing lenses, knowing lighting, things like that only helps you be a better actor because you really understand the technology, the the technical aspects of the industry and not just the art form, but it is called show business for a reason, to know the business side, to know the tech and the specs and things like that, you know, so that you could work really well with somebody because if you know it's a 40, you know that you have space, you know, to use your hands, especially if your hand is gonna be part of the stressor indicator in in the scene, you know what I'm saying? But if it's an 85 or a 100 or a macro, it's just your eyes. So now the emotion is just gonna have to be in your eyes and that's what you're gonna have to use. So really being well versed in this and just, just knowing shit about your industry will make you such a more well-rounded whatever you wanna be, you are just gonna be a fucking beast. Okay, and that's just in my personal opinion, like you are gonna be a beast. So I'm about to pop this 85 on and take pictures and uh, I have to use my phone. Okay, so I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna leave this on so you guys can see. I have a tripod. I don't know which one this is. I'll, I'll put it in the description box below, but I have a tripod and it moves. You need one with the head moving so that you can be able to do whatever you need to do on, on your camera. And right now, I'm just taking the camera off the tripod. Right? And I am switching the bottom of it. There's like a little plate at the bottom of it. So I'm just undoing this. And I'm switching this plate. Okay. Like this. Hi guys. Um, I'm gonna put this in my pocket. So now I wanna have the camera this way so I can take my headshot this way. Okay. So now I'm putting the camera back on top and I am screwing the camera in turning the tripod around loosening oh it's a thing let me see oh yes here we go Guys, it looks bomb. No. I hate when people call me on live. Like, what? Still, boom. Boom. This is what we're talking about. 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna move the camera around until I feel like I like what I see. I'm gonna adjust. Just adjust everything. But when my 85 is gonna look even closer, so I'm gonna record it with my 80. I'm gonna do a lens. 85, 85, do you see the difference though? I didn't even, I didn't even change the settings yet. You can see, do you see the softness right here? It's so dreamy. I love it. It looks so bomb. Do you see that? That's crazy, right? That's all that I do, see? And this color is good because it literally pops, so. I haven't even adjusted the settings yet, which I'm about to do right now. I gotta turn this off. I can record this. See, I should be recording this. It's gonna take you a good like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So don't rush yourself when you're doing this um, because it becomes fun. See, the fan is moving at the top. These are good for makeup pictures too, like a. Uh, I need to go fix my face, hold on. Yeah, something like this. Okay, so I'm going into my, I'm gonna go ahead and screen record my phone. I'm gonna be using my phone so you guys can see which app I'm gonna use. There's an app called Camera Connect and this is where you have to attach your phone via Bluetooth. All right, so we're inside of my phone. There's this app called the Camera Connect app. That's the app that you wanna download. And I'm just showing you here how I connected my phone, the app, to my camera. And I'm just doing it on my normal Wi-Fi settings using the Bluetooth mechanism as well as the internet. The good thing about it is obviously it connects to your phone. You can take pictures of yourself. The um, a little bit of annoying thing is that sometimes depending on your Wi-Fi connection, how strong it is, you can't walk that far away. So in my last apartment, I was able to just take it out my front door, but I wasn't able to take it like across to my neighbor's door because the Wi-Fi just wouldn't catch on. So if you have access to your neighbor's Wi-Fi, that's lit. So you could take pictures outside because definitely taking photos outside is probably in my opinion one of the better ways to get the headshot that you really really want and need so yeah I'm just sitting here connecting everything it's a free app you don't have to pay anything for it and you can now do a remote live viewing of your shooting of your photos this is literally what I do for every single one of my own headshots if I don't tag somebody on my page is because I took the pictures myself so you guys can see that I changed my clothes here and the reason why I chose this top is, although it's not one of those tops that make you stand out, my skin is what's standing out. So it's just a matter of getting somebody to click on that photo, and if anything, they're gonna see my skin tone and wanna click on that. Now use that melanin, honey. Don't be scared of that melanin, okay? Let it pop, let it shine, let it do its thing. So I just adjust myself, and I literally just stand here and I take pictures the entire time. So, boom, watch this you have to really get comfortable in front of the camera. I mean, because this is the career you want. So being comfortable in front of the camera is your job. Take your time with these headshots. They are the most important part of your portfolio at this point because people don't know you. They don't know what you're capable of. So all are, they are gonna assume is, they're gonna assume what you're capable of with these headshots. That's why I always, preach about versatility and just doing as much as you possibly can. So for that middle one, I sat down on the ground and obviously it gives you such a different vibe, right? It gives you more of a moody tone, a serious tone. The other one's a little bit more bright. So just sitting on the floor or standing up can really change the entire mood and the energy of the photo. And at the bottom corner, you can see the specs. You can see the one slash 125, 2.2 aperture, 640 ISO. That's something you guys can look up on your own, but essentially you're just letting in more light, less light, 
the shutter speed is going faster or slower so you can capture an image. And that's what that's about. The cool thing about this app is that you literally can go in here and download the photos right to your phone. I mean, how clutch is that? These are my saving our daughter's photos because I, I've been doing that for a long time, if you guys don't know. Um, but yeah, so I just take these photos and you can only download photos, not video to your phone with this app. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I edit everything inside of my phone because everything is digital these days. We're in my phone and I'm just on Instagram because I was like, oh, which one am I going to post? I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't love these pictures. Like I'm not obsessed with them. I think they're great. Um, but I'm... I have very particular taste to have Moon and Taurus, guys. I have very particular taste when it comes to my headshots. But I think these turned out great for the experiment that I wanted to show you guys. You could see the different looks, the different moods. Um, really focus on your eyes. Focus on what you're thinking. Your eyes tell an entire story. You guys know this. You're used to that. You can look into somebody's eyes and see what's wrong or see, you know, just try to figure them out. The eyes are the window to the soul. So remember, that's what's really going to be getting people to call you in. Um, and I wouldn't use this headshot because my bra is poking out. It's a, it's. a. I feel like I look a little bit dead in the eyes right here. This is not, this is what I'm saying. It's not the absolute best. But I just wanted to show you guys some unedited photos, the way that it looks straight out of my phone, you know, so you guys can see that this is possible to do it on your own. And honey child, if you know, if you're in the middle of nowhere, this is something I definitely suggest you do because you would just have more creative control. And I just changed the background here. I literally just moved my camera around. I've been in the same room this entire time. All I did was change my shirt, take off the red lip and put some lip gloss on and adjust my hair. That's all I did. It looks like completely different days. I feel like this here, I, I never took a picture over here in this corner before. I was just feeling in a creative mode. So I started seeing things and I said, wow, this is beautiful. And that's the picture that I ended up posting on my Instagram. So the cool thing is you could do your headshots and then you can have some great content for your Instagram if you like to utilize the online resources as a way to, for your business to be put out there and for your, you know, for you as a person to present yourself out there. And that's why I'm able to provide pretty good content because I have full creative control on this end. It's a little difficult getting full outfit pictures. That's something that I still have to figure out how to master that. But I mean, shoot, one thing at a time, baby. I'm getting really great at these headshots. I'm great at taking other people's photos. And so now, yeah, definitely I'm going to be doing more fashion stuff. So look out for that, you know. Hopefully this was a fun tutorial for you guys though and you learned something and you learned that you can do this on your own. If you don't have the resources for it, uh, I would definitely suggest for your birthday list or Christmas list or, or whichever holidays you suggest, just telling your family and friends to give you 20 bucks, 25 bucks, you know what I'm saying, 50 bucks, so you can go buy this equipment because this is such, you wanna invest in your future. I, I challenge you to, take the next couple of holidays and birthdays so you can go towards investing in your future and the things that you're actually really excited about and driven and passionate for. So because, you know, like I said earlier in the video, I've taken rent money and I have bought a camera before because I had this internal feeling that this is better for my future. In the short run, it, it was not the best decision and that's not for everybody because everybody just doesn't work well like that. But I'm a hustler, honey. You know, I turn things around real quick. I get it done. That New York energy is never gonna leave me ever. So me um, investing in a camera was a long-term investment for me because I knew I could flip that around and I've gotten my money back from this investment in this camera like um, a bunch of times already because even one day, one day I got hired for an $800 photo shoot in one day. So that paid for all of the equipment, you know what I'm saying, in one day. So if this is something that you're passionate about, you're a director of photography, an actor, a director, a visual artist, I would just highly suggest getting a camera. It's a great, just it's just, it's just a great tool. It's a great tool. And we are visual people. Photos do not harm your business. They only help your business. So that's why I'm an advocate of, you know, DIY child. So I'm going to show you guys the final results from this 
little photo shoot headshot session. I just wanted to show you guys some more of what I was doing and how I was playing around. I played around for probably about an hour, hour and a half or so, just with this entire process to see what I could come up with. And let's look at the final photos. Also my go-to editing apps are Facetune and Snapseed. This is Snapseed that you're looking at right now. It gives you that really cool, like moody, vintage, don't even know, almost timeless look, which I really, really love. You can curate your pages. A lot of fashion pages use this. A lot of people who are um, fashion bloggers use this kind of aesthetic. So I really love it. Uh, it's fun. I love using these kind of layouts on my Instagram because it just won. It's on the theme of showing how expressive I am. So when casting directors, directors, producers, writers look at my Instagram, they can see a plethora of characters. You know what I'm saying? You got to hit this from all angles, girl. All angles. So um, I feel like I did an ending. I don't know if I did an ending. Anyway, my camera died. Um, my camera died on the... My battery died on the camera. So I just want to say I'm going to put up the pictures here so you guys can see some images and what I put together. It's really easy to do this if you just take some time and learn lighting and you can really start anywhere. I started with a T3i Canon. You can start with any type of ca uh, camera, any type of lens. Um, like I said, my camera is second hand. This tripod belongs to my partner, so I have not bought um, anything too brand new besides you know these but this is even second hand so you can get really good stuff out there a lot of people are always trading their things you can probably look on offer up amazon ebay things like that and then yeah just over time you'll sl slowly start getting a collection but just take time to really learn lighting like natural lighting even with this camera that i love the fuji film um xt 100 i haven't taken any headshots on this yet but i've taken like fashion shots on this i really love this and i know this is a great headshot though camera i just haven't done it for myself yet on this but this is a great headshot camera it's super lightweight the wi-fi goes straight to your um phone so you can edit right on your phone and that's a good thing about these kind of technologies you can do it right to your phone and that's what I did with the app I transferred it right to my phone like you guys saw I was able to edit it on my phone email it to myself and do all the extra stuff so hopefully you guys learned something and you um, hopefully you guys learned something from the video and you felt inspired to go and do it on your own you know if you don't know how to get another camera just Instead of a birthday gift, just ask people to get donate and give you money so you can go buy a camera, you know, or tell people that that's what you want. You have to be vocal about what you want so people can help you around you. So your, your community, your friends, your family, people who love you and care about you, they can help you. And there are people that love and care about you. You just have to vocalize that, though, because there's people who will support you. You just never know, you know. That's the funny thing about life. You have a lot of people that are rooting for you. So you have a lot of people that are behind you and support you and they want to see you win. They want to see you live a beautiful life. So don't ever doubt that. There's people around you like me that want to see you win. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I hope that inspires you to get your own gear, you know, start beating your own face, do your own makeup, start doing your own hair. I put all the tutorials for all this stuff. So I did my own hair, my own makeup. I took my own picture, you know, boom make it happen like you can you can do this you can do whatever you want you can whatever field you you're in you should be dissecting every single every single thing that you find at least interesting or that you're passionate about in the field and you should be really getting into it and i'm passionate about how the picture comes together i'm passionate about lighting i'm passionate about angles and apertures and all that stuff and that thankfully goes and it uh, goes together with you know acting so it works out for me. So just find something that you're in your field that you're passionate about that complements what you're already driven to do and whatever, what your purpose already is. Okay, bye.